Sister, I'll be local investigator. Why you come and make a help? Oh, I, I don't like doing this. Welcome to my channel. But you know, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Chacha. This is your first time here. What we do at movie reviews, you know, based on what we've seen on TV. And I feel, uh, you know, I just want to share my puff with you. I will talk about it and we would have fun with it. Yeah. I've been pretty much irregular this um, past few, several months. I've explained and re-explained and, you know, I could explain tire, so I don't want to get into it again. So let's just, you know, review the movie at hand, which is a Nigerian movie titled Passport. No, Uncle, you don't understand. The passport is in the bag. Without the passport, I can't fly. If I can't fly, I can't see mom, and then they will think I'm up to my old antiques again. Where is Oscar? Oscar, this is not London. This is brown area. Is that clear? You! I don't want the trouble. 500k. What? Where I stand for here, so I And it's new you, Nadia, you wear. They speak for it, I don't get 500k. You wake up and you sleep mad. That must be exhausting. And I'm best because this was supposed to get her. See, man, be, I don't get her. But I better pass you. I don't have any respect, Messi. And you don't get sense. Let me be the best. You don't be Yankee, did you? You don't jam Yankee way past your home for years. I was born in Bristol. Yeah, you know, the feet, the oh, no. you know, passport did it for me. I, so when I saw Jim Ike, saw um, Messi Johnson, I just paused the movie and just promised myself that I would see this movie such a time as when I'm less busy and I can actually, you know, devote my time, my concentration, you know, towards this movie. Now, this movie, you know, has um, people like, um, like I said, Jim Ike, Messi Johnson, Okoje, um, Zubi Michael. It also has Jide Koshoko. I mentioned Zubi Michael, yeah. It was directed by Dimeji Ajibola, yeah. And um, <laughs> it's an amazing Nigerian movie that reminds me of um, what's this? I know. I um, reviewed this movie, but I can't remember this movie, but I'll just put it on the screen. Just, you know, so she, Bessie Johnson just replayed herself, you know, in, from that movie to this movie. She just translated. I don't think it was really much of a homework, much of um, an effort for her in this movie it's kind of like raining so please forgive the noise whatever noise you hear just focus let's just do this so i don't think she actually worked so hard because she she would she would have been you know oh no she wasn't the one that acted in that movie i'm i'm, I'm mistaking her i'm mistaking um funke um uh akindele with uh, mr johnson so let's go pass but you know mr johnson obviously sorry about my mistake she actually worked hard because she really she really had to dig into that you know agbero thing that scatter scatter ruffian thing and she really did it so so well you know, very few actors and actresses can pull that, you know, role off. It's not for the, it's not for those who are just um, starting, you know, if you're just starting or you just, there's some things, there's some roles that, you know, can't pick you or can't select you. You know, you just have to be so good as to really, you know, um, own that role. So in this role, in this uh, movie, we have um, Jim Ike who came in from the UK and um, to see his girlfriend but of course uh, when he came in he got to see first and that you know some people are really living large of course he was or he is from a you know a wealthy well-to-do home but you know money was not just flying all over the place so he had to all i say now get approval from his sister who will now give him some money and he goes clubbing with his girlfriend, tries to propose to her, and things are not just going his way. He doesn't have so much money. And then he gets a message that his mom, you know, is sick on a sick bed and asking for him. And he wants to leave Nigeria and just go and forget about this whole unpleasant business, you know, with the trip. And as he was heading to the airport with his uncle, Jide Koshoko, I think there was um the car broke down and in the process Messi Johnson's sister and her friend 
kind of like snatch is bad that contained his wallet and all of that now mr johnson on the other hand you know belongs to or lives in the slums like serious slums and she she, she had to struggle and make do zubi michael is the head of a gang the gang that you know is in charge of the neighborhood and, and you know they will they will get everyone everyone needs to pay them you know to avoid any threats or manhandling, you know, manhandling or violence or anything, so they ruled the neighborhood, the, you know, you know that whole place. And then Mercy Johnson was trying to contest against Subi Michael, so that there will be some level, you know, of liberation where people can go to the hospital and see drugs or something where there will be hope rising. And then she tried to contest against him. I think they transported. Transporters Association or something of the pack, yeah. But then um, the opposition was high. And then there comes um, Jim Hike, who is looking for his passport, his bag. And through investigations, they got in touch with Mercy Johnson. And then they just, you know, started quarreling from there. So you will see the different struggle, the different misunderstanding, the, the, <laughs> the quarrel, the back and forth. You know, the search for the bag, the futile attempt to get the bag, and then the the limitations, the hindrances, the struggles of those, you know, um, that are living below their means and have to struggle for basic needs, for accommodation, for food, for health care. They are struggle, they are, you know, the quagmire, the, 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 the lack of hope or faith or hopelessness i would say and um the struggle to survive against all odds you know um while we were laughing while it was funny you are also watching first and you know the struggles of those who have next to nothing and who you know have to live um with clean hands or not you know have to live honestly or dishonestly just to make ends meet and the unending you know lifestyle or the unending living and hope to escape this torture of a lifestyle so it, it was as well as much as it was a comedy it was um also um expository in kind in a kind of way that would not be bothersome on your heart and still make you enjoy the movie at the same time which was what endeared the movie to me i enjoyed jim ike it's been a while for jim ike yeah yeah there's this movie i think um bad comments i think i'll come back it's it's pretty it was earlier this year but i think i will I'm making note to uh, review the movie Still on Still because I love Jim Ike. He was so good. It was yeah, it was good, and th there was this certain chemistry um, between Jim Ike and Mercy Johnson. You know, you know when talent meets talent. You know they kind of like even if it's going off point. You know they kind of like veer. You know bring it back again on track and deliver what we are looking for so that was why i found it interesting and till the end i don't even know what i was expecting at the end of the movie but then i think i was expecting for it to become romantic in, in some kind of sense um it did not but then it ended in a wonderful way in a plausible you know kind of way that was good for my understanding and um there was no magic, no Nigerian magic per se, but it was beautiful to see. I'll be rating this movie kind of like, I think, a 6 over 10. But, 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 it, 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 in terms of cinematography, um, the plot was good, like I said. Um, the abroad level side was a bit disjointed. Um, explanation of why Jim Ike was still there when um, Mercy Johnson got, you know, regained her consciousness, of course, why she was, why he was there, but you know, the frenzy, the, the, the way they struggled, the way he struggled to get his passport and all that, you know, nothing changed. And there was, you know, the ending 
what I was expecting from Jim Ike about his family abroad or how they resolved it, what, you know, the understanding that he wanted them to understand him. I didn't really see it. it, it they just kind of like faced that side out just to accommodate that expected end that they wanted the audience to see, which did not sit well with me. I kind of like appreciated the no light thing. You know, no light thing. Of course, that's what we're used to in Nigeria, normal level, like they ever did there at all. But then, you know, it was a bit too dark. Um, sometimes you would just have to strain your eyes and just know that uh, it's still on still. Somehow, shall that um, that's Mercy Johnson or that's Jim Ike or you know, yes, we know your 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 you you were you know shooting the movie at night to drive home your point, but. Um, it should have been done in a better way. The sound was good. The the um, the locations that were used was awesome. The, the 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 houses that were used showed it. You know, portrayed the poverty. The 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 local guy where they went to exchange. You know, um, the bag, Jim Ike's bag, and all that. It was so real you know all these backyard kind of places it's always so you know it was like that and i i really commend the director dimechi and um the location those who are in charge of location for bringing that out it, it, it isn't nigerians you know nollywood are beginning to be so good at choosing the right location the right um places to shoot a movie to bring out and to tell their story using the location so for that i commend them but then like i said those um issues were there and um they kind of like wanted to cause some small wahala but then it was a good wonderful movie to see which i'll be rating um, a six over ten and um, which brings me to the end of this uh, review up there you see my korean movie review you see my nigerian movie review my chinese movie review and then again my movie reviews um i hope to see you soon if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit on the subscribe button yeah yeah subscribe button and click on the bell notifications to be alerted when new videos come your way because you bet they will thank you so much for doing this with me thank you so very much i'll see you again take care bye